Welcome to Espresso Tycoon. This game has just released. It's all about coffee and it's not just like, oh, it's a simulator, it's a tycoon game. We're actually at some point, I don't know if it's in the campaign or if you have to do sandbox, we will find out, but you have the ability to create your own coffees and stuff. So I'm really, really looking forward to jumping into this. We're going to play the campaign. We're going to see how it goes. And hopefully, I don't run us out of business. We're starting, I believe, from absolutely nothing and working our way up to our own fancy coffee shop. So here we go. One out of ten. Pimp my coffee truck. You've won a contest titled, I've had enough of corporate work. And the grand prize is an opportunity to intern at CAFs all around the globe. Your journey begins in Cape Town, South Africa, where you are going to get to learn the ins and outs of running a small coffee truck while gaining valuable business skills. Our goal for this is to sell five coffees. Okay, so I don't actually need to read out the story to it. There's a full-on narrator that does that for me. And without further ado, let's start this very first mission. Oh, we've got a cutscene and everything. I'm excited to play this one. I'm not the biggest fan of coffee. No, I don't drink coffee at all. But I'm really, really excited to run my own coffee business. There's no talking or anything like that in the cutscene. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Of the contest. Nice to meet you. My name is Kim, and I'm Hello, Kim. to guide you during your coffee journey. We're going to travel around the world together, starting here in a beautiful park in Cape Town. Do you see this humble coffee truck over there? Let's start with creating a brand for it. Oh, we get to create our own brand. We've got fifteen hundred dollars. It's uh, time goes very quick. It's eight o'clock in the morning already. Oh, here we go. So, we get to rename it. I've, I've already come up with one. Uh, we're going to go Star Pounds to avoid copyright on Starbucks. Uh, and the font, we will go with... No, do you know what? We'll go up here, right? Color. Yeah, I want... Oh, you can actually change the color. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, it's got to go purple. <laughs> it's disgusting, but it's got to be. Change the brand logo. Oh, okay. So we can have a coffee bean. You know what? We'll get a takeaway cup. Close the brand window when done. Well, yes, we just opened up Star Pounds. Your place will attract customers like bees to honey or like pigeons to coffee. Wait, what's going on? Like bees to honey or like pigeons to coffee. Okay. Oh, another cut scene. Why is there a pigeon drinking out of the cup? Uh, what? What? Why do we? Have, why is there a moonwalking pigeon? I've seen many weird things in my career, but a caffeinated pigeon is definitely something new. In any case, <laughs> okay. let's learn how to navigate the scene. By the way, if you ever need help with any task, just click the "Show Me How" button for more detailed instructions. Uh, where is the "Show Me How"? I, I don't even know which button that is. Oh, that one there. Move camera up down left right rotate right and rotate left Pretty there we go easy, right but that's not all in our world you can fly around freely like a pigeon you can switch from strategic <laughs> to pigeon or cinematic camera mode to see the world from different angles try it now <laughs> we can go to pigeon mode switch to cinematic okay that's, that's not bad and then from cinematic, go to strategic. Now that there you we know go. How to move the camera, let's get to work. First, we need to buy some chairs and tables so people can sit down and relax. We should also consider adding some additional lighting, just in case someone is sipping on coffee all evening long. Not sure why you would do that. There's a lot of caffeine in coffee, but okay. Open the decoration window, have two tables, two chairs, and a lamp. Round modern table, the eighty dollars. Just square table. Why are the tables so? Why are the chairs even more expensive? We'll go with the round modern. No, we'll go with a square table. So I've got. I don't have complete freedom. It's just in this space here, but that's fine by me. If I place that about there. There we go. So we need a lamp. Uh, if we put it here, for a, for an example, we just plonk it right there. Nice work. There we go. The is looking empty. I mean, cozy. You're almost ready to start earning money, but we still need to create a menu for customers to order from. 
We've got to create our own menu. And that's not central. Can I... Am I not allowed to pick it up? Wait, hold up. There we go, I can. That looks a little bit better. We'll, we'll leave it like that. So, we need to open the menu window, add espresso to the menu, and Americano. And there's going to be some names and stuff that I absolutely butcher. So, available coffees. You can prepare two cups of this. Requires coffee beans. What do you want to do with this? Add to menu. And then Americano. There we go. They're on the menu. People can buy coffees. Anyway, to help you out, I've already hired a barista and stocked up on the basic supplies that you'll need to start serving coffee. You're all set to go. Now it's time to see how your first customer buys a coffee. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. Someone's coming to buy a coffee. Just imagine that you walk in. Welcome to Star Pounds. How can I help you? Congratulations on your first sale. While you might not be rich, it's not my favorite. Yet, with a few more million sales, you'll be well on your a way. A few more Let's million. Take a look at that customer now. Click on the highlighted customer. Uh, social group unlocked. Casual. Taking it easy one day at a time and putting off responsibilities until they absolutely have to be done. Bean talk and Beanstalkram. <laughs> oh, they're Periscope for life. Meet Johnny Doe, a casual. It's good to know your customers. Fortunately, equipped with an amazing mind reading device, you can see what your customers really think about their experience. Each review affects your rating points. So, pay attention. Can you see his review of the coffee price? Yeah, it's affordable. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I can't put the chairs like too close to the tables because the the customers <laughs> just sit inside the table. There's a Johnny Doe 30. The price of Americano is very affordable. So close the customer window. When you see I need to move the chairs happy about the affordable price of coffee, you may consider increasing it a bit to earn more money. Let's try that now. Yeah but then I don't want to increase it too much and annoy the customers. But I will learn how to increase the price. Margin two dollars. I'm guessing I just bumped that up. How much was it? Two eighty six. Oh, we have to raise the price of espresso. So it wasn't Ameri did he not buy an Americano? As you can see, analyzing reviews from your customers can give you valuable insights into how to grow your business. But don't forget about the other customers. Click on the highlighted one. The highlighted customer. Oh, you over here. A hipster. Always on the hunt for the next... That one. Organic, humor-free, weird, everything, cruelty-free, fair trade, ethically sourced, and local coffee. This is Marco Neutral. Polo, a hipster. Got no takeaway cups. He likes coffee to go, but you don't have any takeaway cups. It's a good opportunity to learn how to order supplies. Let's make your customer happy and order some takeaway cups for him. I will happily, happily order some takeaway cups. So do I just pick which ones I want to order? I want my customers to be happy, so I can order some cappuccino. Instant delivery is $283. And instead of Starbucks, I didn't realize we're working in dollars. I should have named it Star Dollars. Uh, 35, so we get 35 cups, and I've got an instant delivery. Are on their way. Just wait a bit. In the 21st century, drones can deliver your order. In our oh, world, no. people are okay with drone delivery. It's a normal part of our mundane life. So we've got the delivery of takeaway cups. I need to move these chairs, though. Am I allowed to do that? Yeah, I think that's how that works. So, let's collect that. Now, are you going to buy a coffee from me? You're learning very fast. You've analyzed customer reviews and taken action to improve your profits and customer experience. That's how you build a successful business. There's one more customer waiting. Let's take care of her too. Okay, so we've got one more customer to deal with. $5.72. Click on the highlighted customer. Student. Pulling all nighters like it's their part-time job, surviving on ramen and caffeine. And trying to find the meaning of life in between lectures. Okay, so let's continue playing. I love Moldy, the style of this student. place. It 
looks like she really likes your decoration. I'm not surprised at all. You've already met three different social groups. In future missions, you'll meet even more. Remember, each social group has different expectations. Right, so I love the style of this place. Everything is fine. Close the customer window. If you zoom in on the place where the student was sitting, you'll notice that she left some rubbish behind. This happens sometimes. Some customers can be a bit messy. Let's clean it up so the next customer won't complain. Okay, so we're now on rubbish duty. Ugh, can you not just take it with you? That looks much better. Just a heads up. Sometimes you might need to focus on a task, but there's a lot going on around you. In these situations, you can always pause the game and take your time. Try pausing and resuming now. Okay, so we will pause. And we will resume. Pretty useful, right? With the game paused, you can do your job without rushing. On the other hand, when you're waiting for something and don't have much to do, you can speed up the game. You can always go back to the standard speed later. Try them both now. So we've got to speed up the game and go back to standard speed. There we go, that's that done. Time. You're almost ready to go, but remember that some customers come with their pets. It would be nice to offer some water for them to drink while their owners enjoy a cup of coffee. Let's make that happen now. Okay, so we've got to get water for pets that come into the coffee shop. I mean, we're in the middle of a park, but okay. And uh, yeah, if there's one issue I've got with this game so far, it's the scroll wheel. It works in the opposite way. To zoom in, you have to scroll down, and to zoom out, you have to scroll up. A little bit weird, but we can... Uh, we can deal with it, so we've got to have two dog bowls. If I put it this side of the bench, because people might not be interested in dogs. So if they're sitting down having a coffee and there's a dog drinking next to them, yeah, it might annoy them. Ah, there so we go. Many happy dog tales. My boss, Mr. I Hate Him, tells me I'm needed somewhere else now. I'm confident that you'll be able to complete the mission on your own. Check out the mission window to see your goals and progress. We'll see each other again soon, I promise. One last tip. Check if you still have coffee beans. Okay, so, mission, sell three more coffees, customers, finances, and then supplies. We need to make sure we've got enough coffee beans. That's ridiculous, $250 to get it instant delivery, or I've got to wait 12 hours. Are we good to, yes, we can prepare 14 cups of that, and 14 of that. The right hand side isn't, yeah, because that's going down now. That's how much you've got. The left side is what's needed in that, like, coffee. And then the right side is how much you've got. So we've got plenty to sell coffees now. We've got to sell two more. We've just sold coffee number three. And this time, look. Who's coming with a dog? The price of Americano is a bit high, but I decided to give it a try anyway. But I would like to see what you think. Oh, we can't click on the dog. That's a very weird dog sound. Go to the dog bowl. I, I put dog bowls down for you. Oh, someone else is ordering an Americano. People don't like these espressos, do they? My toilet's out of order as well. Why would, why would you have a running coffee shop without a toilet? The price of Americano is a bit high. That's two people in a row. We've got to lower that price. Americano, down. Very, very weird how the mission ends. But well done. You've taken a small step as a businessman, but a giant leap as an intern. Your Star Pounds coffee truck in Cape Town is a place where people feel relaxed, sip on delicious coffee, and have fun with their furry friends. Are you ready for another adventure far, far away? And to top it off, we've deposited two grand into your bank account so you can decorate the coffee shop however you like. See you soon. So we need to have a guitar, a guitar amplifier, Get a rating of 30, have a barista with skill coffee on minimum level fine. Here we go, cut scene. This looks disgusting. Hello again. How was your flight from Cape Town? I hope you handle 22-hour flights better than I do. Anyway, here we are in New York. They say the city never sleeps, so it seems like a perfect place for another coffee shop. This place has potential, but we'll have to work on it. Starting, of course, with the brand. 
Okay, so we have to name it again. Are we going to have to do this for every single mission? However, this time we are going with star dollars. Um, I'm just going to go with X typewriter. And again, we'll make it purple. And the logo, we'll do the takeaway cup. A there we go. A recognizable brand is a must-have in such a competitive market. Now let's take care of the coffee shop itself. At this moment, it's very neglected, but I'm sure you can quickly bring this place back to life. Do you see this cabinet in the middle? The previous owner must have left it here. Let's sell it to make some space. Oh, so we get to sell this. Sell the decoration item. Click on it, and then... How do we sell it? Sell item. Shortcuts delete. Oh, we've got $150. Not only did we get more space, but we also got some extra cash. Remember, if you ever need some money, you can always sell some of your furniture. Anyway, it's time to renovate the walls and floors. Okay, so I just noticed we sold that. We got $150. It puts our total up to $16.50. But they said at the end of the first mission that they gave us two grand. So I'm going to assume that $2,000 was an injection for the coffee truck in Cape Town. You start each mission with a certain amount. At the end, they'll give you a bonus, which should tide you over into successfully running that business up if you want to continue with that campaign mission any further. But that's what I'm thinking at this point. So we've got to renovate the walls and floors. Can I drag it? No, you can only click and place part. So we'll go there. Oh, it does the whole thing. That's helpful. Very, very helpful. So this one. Okay, a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. But that helps us out with saving money. Oh, that goes all the way round as well. So that's the walls done. I'm not necessarily a big fan of the brickwork, but we can put up with it for now. So we've got here, we've got that one, or we've got, are they not pretty much the same? You know what, we'll take this. That'll do, and then we'll stick with the same floor. Yeah, why not? There we go. That's not looking too bad already. Like, there's a huge change already. So close the decoration window. There we go. What a change. Now the coffee shop looks awesome. It reminds me of some popular TV show from the 90s. What was its name? Ha, ah, I can't remember. Anyway, let's keep on working. It would be a waste to have such a cozy space and not add some tables and chairs. Let's do it now. So now we have to have three tables and six chairs. You know what? I'm going to go with those square tables again. Something like that. Oh, that's, that's going to have to do. I don't think there are... I don't think you can snap. So, chairs. They are expensive. I'm going to have to go with the cheap ones. I've got to buy six. So that would be, what, $540? I, I would, it would leave me pretty much skin. I'm sorry, you're going to have to sit on cheap chairs. Oh, I didn't really want to do that, but I've kind of got no choice. I like how the game... Uh, tells you if the uh, if there's no table like oh look this isn't assigned to a table and I'm going to try and like if you see the arrow I'm going to try and get the tip of the arrow to be almost central because I feel that's a good spot for the chairs to be in obviously I didn't do that with the first ones I can move them over a little bit That'll do. You are a natural-born interior designer. Now that our cafe isn't so empty anymore, we have to hire a barista. Since our place isn't very popular yet, I saw only one CV sent by. Let me check. Rachel Bean. Well, let's hire her. So we have no choice but to hire Rachel Bean. So if we go up to employees, coffee, poor, milk, very poor, art, poor, speed, fine, salary, $72 a day. Character trait, charisma, uh, one year of seniority, uh, prefers afternoons. I don't care what time you prefer. You're working for me. You work when I tell you to. Training employees not available yet, but you can train them up. So coffee would go from poor to fine. Oh, speed would go from fine to good, but it's 240. Your rating's not going up. Check customer windows to see why. 
Okay, so close the window. Rachel Bean, that reminds me of someone. She is now part of your business, but she has no clue when she should start her shift. So let's set up her schedule. Remember, each employee prefers different working hours. Oh, okay. So she prefers afternoons. Schedule. Drag to set. So if we do 12 till... So midday to midnight? Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll do that. I see you successfully assigned her the hours. Now let's wait till she starts her shift. Remember, when there's no barista in the coffee shop, you can always skip time until the next one shows up. Okay, right. We're going to skip. Skipping time. Great. We're almost done setting up the coffee shop. I've already organized some supplies, such as coffee beans, water filters, takeaway cups, and milk. However, we've been using cheap, low-quality supplies so far, and it's time to level up. Let's prioritize getting better coffee beans from a reliable provider. Okay, so we're going to upgrade the coffee beans. Change the priority. So we prioritize... Oh, okay, so... If we've got all of them in stock, we're now prioritizing Dreamway, so they're served first. And if we've run out of those for the day, we then start serving Mespresso. That makes sense. I like that. Now that you know how to use different supply providers, it's time to open your coffee shop. But did we forget something? Of course. We forgot to set the menu and prices. Let's do that now. Right, so we've got to set the menu before we can open up. Menu... Oh, okay, so, yeah, we're going to add both of these. Add to menu, add to menu. Now we are and there we go. Now. Let's open the coffee shop. Let's open it up. The coffee shop and the coffee shop open. Open! It's officially open. Now it's just a matter of time until it will be full of customers. Do you see this elderly gentleman? Let's see who he is. Someone spawned in to visit our coffee shop. Senior, they're like treasure hunters. They know where the good stuff is and appreciate a cozy spot to rest and chat. Be kind to them and they might share some of their hard-earned wisdom with you. Fair enough. This is Tom Heckles. This coffee shop is very clean. Coffee. As you can see, Tom He's 82. Your coffee shop is clean. Try to keep it that way. So we've got to keep an eye out for rubbish. Notice how the money you earn from selling that coffee multiplies. Money multiplier is a secret ingredient of our world. You earn more when your cafe looks nicer. Each decoration item gives you some style points. And when you get enough of them, your money multiplier increases. Let's do oh. it Oh. Okay, because that was a times three, so we got $10 for it. Buy more decoration and collect more style points to increase your money multiplier. The higher it is, the more money you'll earn with each coffee sold. So we're getting $10 a coffee at the moment. Get 20 style points. So that's with decoration. So we've got a couple more lights. We'll put one... Can we put one here? So I need three more. There we go. So... Check the, uh, the money multiplier times four. Good job. Now, you have a hint on how to earn money faster. Thanks to that, you will be able to invest more money to grow your business. For example, by training your employees. Try to train Rachel in any skill now. So if I pause for a moment, we go to employees. The milk, the coffee, the art. Today's thoughts. The atmosphere here is great. My salary here is fine, just fine. I'm going to go with the milk. I don't want it to be very poor. And then it's $60, so I'm also going to do the art. Is there a way to... Done, her skill will improve. It's important because your customers will judge the skills of your employees. The employees themselves also want to have some training from time to time. But remember, with better skills, they will also expect a better salary. I think you're ready to continue on your own. But before I go, let's check out the mission goals. Okay, so we've got to check the mission goals. Get a rating of 30. Have a barista with coffee skill... On the minimum level of fine. Guitar, amplifier, and guitar. So we've got to keep making money. 
I was going to say, is there a way to check uh, customer well, thoughts? There's a rising star of New York music, a girl called Phoebe. She won't give a concert in every coffee shop, though. It must be liked by lots of people, and, well, you must provide the proper gear. Her presence will surely make your place very popular. I have to go now. See you soon, somewhere in the world. Okay, so Kim's off. Um, order... Do you know what? We will put in the order. In four hours, that's a lot better. So I'm going to grab the... Oh yeah, customers. Reviews, preferences, neighbourhood. Looks like nobody's working here. Someone got annoyed because there was no one uh, on the job. So, what was it? Special... I don't want the sunburst. We'll go with a classic guitar. Something like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it like that for the time being. So we've got to get the rating of our shop up. So I need to actually skip until staff comes in. There's rubbish being left on the bloody tables. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the money multiply. It goes up to time six, though. But we need to get the style points up to 40. The price is very affordable. We're making some decent money. We got an award. Best decorated coffee shop in town, rating plus 10. We went up to 29. So we've, to complete this, we just need to have that rating go up to 30. But we can't do that today, unfortunately, because no one else is going to come in. Right, we're going to skip time until the barista comes back to work. New York, oh, we've done it. Congrats, starting from an abandoned and neglected place, you managed to make Star Dollars coffee. The uh, shop, a popular place in New York. People can sit here, relax, and listen to good music performed live. Enjoy this success because another challenge is coming. And to top it off, we've deposited $2,000 into your bank accounts. You can decorate the coffee shop however you like. See you soon. So if I do continue playing... Yeah, there you go. Look, we get $2,000 added. And we can just carry on with this one if we wanted to. However, how do we go to the next mission? So I believe what we need to do is... Go to the options. We'll save it just in case. Empty slot. We'll go star dollars. And we'll save it. And then if we quit to menu. Because I can't find any way to... Oh, there we go. Three out of ten. So you can change it. Ah, okay. You can change it at the main menu. Mission complete. However, you can... Yeah, you can start them again. But because we completed it, do we start it from where we left off? Oh no, it starts you right back at the beginning. Okay, so once you leave a campaign mission, you can no longer continue with where you left it. I believe unless you... Let's quickly load game. Okay, so as long as you save the game, you can jump back in where you left it. But if you go to the... Let's quit to the menu. If you want to start the new mission and you don't go there straight away, you need to do it from the main menu. But that was starting our own coffee company. I really, really enjoyed that. Personally, absolutely loved it. And I cannot wait to get back into this one and start off with mission number three. And just quickly, we did manage to invert the scroll wheel and there is a snapping feature. is using Alt and left Alt on the keyboard. So that's not going to be an issue in the next video. But that was the very beginning of our coffee empire business tycoon whatever you want to call it and on that note we are going to leave the video there if you enjoyed it leaving a like is appreciated if you wish to support me further as a creator there are links in the description let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments and if you want to watch more you can click the video on screen all support on the channel is greatly appreciated and i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching